Mais moi, celle-là, elle, elle arrive, cette saison, elle va arriver après une saison très, très compliquée, très difficile, que nous n'avions certainement jamais subie. Et croyez bien qu'aujourd'hui, c'est avec beaucoup de soulagement. Hein, et, et avec derrière moi, quelques mois que je, veux, que je voudrais rapidement oublier, eh bien, repartir avec encore une fois beaucoup d'ambition pour la 13e saison, je crois, des Dragons. Je pense que ça, M. Bruno Teniente, vous n'avez pas encore parlé de cette 13e. Pourquoi Je sais bien que pour des gens, il ne faut pas parler du 13. Du 13, ce numéro 13, pour certains, il ne faut pas le nommer. Mais quant à moi, je dirais que pour moi, le 13, c'est mon chiffre un peu porte-bonheur. Alors, je ne sais pas ce que ça va donner, mais pourquoi pas un petit peu, un petit clin d'œil, un petit peu, un petit peu, un clin d'œil de, du destin, pourquoi pas, autour de cette 13e année, pourquoi pas. Go! 
any team has ever played on this pitch on Saturday. We put the most complete defensive performance with that much energy, that much movement, that this pitch has never seen anything like it in rugby league. That's us. That's the Dragons. We combine that with fantastic discipline in terms of with the ball and in terms of with the referees and, and everything else. And we blow these fuckers right out the wall. Alright, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Alright, so Warrington, they are a team. Listen, please, listen intently to this. They are a team what requires time and space. I'll show you some clips. If you give them time and space, they will be there. Leads, what do leads give you when you play leads? Fucking time and space. When they drew the semi final, they must have been like this. Because they just give them time and space and they put 50 points on them. You take that time away, you take that space off them, and then we defend <coughs> those players. You fucking shut this team down and you'll ruin them. You will ruin them. You'll see them. You'll see them like Saints looking around what the fuck is happening here. Who's going to get us out of trouble? And they will not be able to dig themselves out of it. This is how we approach this game, okay? But this is it. So I know we're talking defensive, but I want to support what Tom had put yesterday. This was James Robin in the semi-final. 61 times. Only seven runs for 29 metres. When Warrington win, Clark runs, because that's what they've done, they've got the front door down, Clark runs, and his metres go up around this area where Luke Thompson's number is there. This is what we're going to do. Both sides are destroying, absolutely destroying. 61 tackles, only 7 carries for Roby in that game. Okay? Like I said, the best defensive performance ever, ever on this field. And we come off <coughs> that trophy, which will be presented this side of the on it. Probably just up here on this side here. All good? Yes. Hey, same as get downstairs, enjoy what we're about to do, enjoy your practice, make sure we're ready to go. Uh, the reserves get a great session in for us here, please. Make sure we, uh, we get what we need out of it. And, uh, let's go away. Yeah, boys. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 hey.
Some more, yeah? I can leave you this morning, you see? <laughs> yeah, this morning. So when they find the sum, I tell you what to do. <laughs> laver sans le casque. Filme-le bien, hein. Filme-le là. Oh Il est vraiment trop fort Axel. C'est bon, t'as j'ai de tout. C'est bon Ouais, attends, je vais mettre ça. Il est radique, ce genre. Ouais. Ce jeu est radique. Ouais, ah ouais. c'est ça. Franchement, surtout quand tu joues à, à 4 avec des collègues, ben... Tu vois pas le temps passer. Pas ouais. Bah, c'est pratique quand t'es à l'hôtel toute la journée comme ça. Ouais, ouais c'est ça. avec de l'air et ça fait, avec les bottes ça fait des, ça compresse ça relâche c'est un peu comme un, un genre de massage tu vois. ça compresse ça relâche vous l'utilisez à quel moment ça bon, euh, souvent euh, en récup et après et même avant avant les matchs là tu vois on en fait, ils, ils en prennent ils en prennent un minimum trois euh, ou quatre avant chaque match on, même dans l'avion en Angleterre on arrive on, est à, on sait qu'on a des massages si on veut faire euh, les bottes euh, Compression, enfin, ils appellent ça les relax. Hein. On le fait. On... Ah, c'est vraiment, c'est pas le truc euh, sensationnel, mais c'est un outil euh, en plus pour, pour récupérer, essayer d'avoir les jambes euh, légères le jour du match. Ah, 
Dan zijn we ze anderhalf te blijven. Je pense que c'est la pure tradition anglaise, cette mémoire qu'ils ont, ce souvenir et, et ces, ces cérémonies avec, avec euh, beaucoup de respect, beaucoup de sérieux, un cérémonial extraordinaire. Je pense que c'est à leur image, cette image de, de rigueur, de, de professionnalisme, de, de faire les choses bien comme il faut. Il y a une semaine, Steve m'a dit que ça se passait comme ça, il y avait un protocole la veille du match, j'étais... À assez euh, surpris et agréablement surpris parce que voilà c'est quand même quelque chose d'honorable de, de venir saluer les, les, les soldats et les femmes et, et femmes et hommes qui sont morts pour la pour, pour, là ici c'est pour, pour l'Angleterre pour la seconde guerre mondiale et la première bien sûr yeah, yeah it's a massive honor you don't get opportunities like this very often uh, I'm really pleased that obviously it's the French connection as long as the English and, and everything that we did together during the wars and Really, really important for us to come and uh, pay our respects today. Uh, and like I said, you know, we, we are, you, know, you, you relate to the, some of the things that we have the opportunities to do nowadays, and it's because of you know lots of people who uh, pay the the price, the ultimate price, with their lives.
Ah, ça fait vraiment un très très gros, enfin, c'est immense à voir. J'étais venu, mais il y, y, y a vraiment longtemps, et on ne pas qu'ils soit aussi gros et de, de l'intérieur, c'est vraiment un stade magnifique. Voilà, j'espère qu'il me portera la chance demain. incredible trust in you uh, that I don't think I've felt complete with any other team that I've been involved in. Um, you know, the stuff that you've done this season, uh, no other team again could have done that. No other team could have held them there. No other team could have produced it week in, week out. So the trust that I have in you is just unbelievable. I know you'll get it done tomorrow. No, you will. You will go and get it done. We'll win this, win this game and we'll get it done. The sacrifices that you've made, you know, the sacrifices that you've made um, have been absolutely massive. Uh, and I do want to talk about sheer hard work. Because tomorrow, it's going to be fucking hard work. You know, because I'm telling you here that we're going to win and I've got trust in you and all that, it's going to be fucking hard. It is going to be hard. But the effort that you've put in, and again, the trust I've got that you'll just outwork this opposition tomorrow, for me, again, that separates you from the rest. There's good teams in the competition, and then there's teams who are prepared to outwork the opposition. So tonight, all right, tonight, you know, I didn't want to bring anybody in, anybody outside the group in. Like, you boys have fucking done it yourselves. You can bring someone in to do a guest speak and a talk and all of that sort of stuff and, and it adds some value to it, but no one's gonna no one's gonna help you tomorrow. You help yourselves tomorrow, you get the job done. You've got a couple of boys who are playing there as well, I've just caught my eye there, they'll support you, the staff will support you. We're the only ones in this room that can get this job done tomorrow. I don't want any fanfare from anybody else outside. We just go about our business uh, and we get it done. Uh, the other people who have helped you is your families, without doubt. Again, because you know, it is tough. It's tough on them at times, we travel all the time. Tough on them when we're getting beat. 
and you go home in terms of how are you going to speak to them. So they do offer you huge support. So all there is here, all right, is just some messages from your family. You know the support we've got, what's coming across. You know the support we've got back home, there in Catalan, an army of fans there. So just watch this, take it on board the support that you're going to get and you're going to receive. And then, get yourself straight back out there. Keep that buzz going that you've got, keep that relaxed feeling that you've got. That's all one for you between now and then. And then tomorrow, we'll go get up and get the job done. un peu changé depuis la fin dans la préparation de la demi et tout tout le temps on nous dit profiter de ces moments là faut que ce soit de, de l'excitation positive faut pas que ce soit du, du stress parce que après avec le stress on peut faire voilà on peut avoir où les gens me couper ou ce genre de choses là il faut juste bien se sentir relâcher mais tout tout en tout en sachant voilà le, le, le match qu'il va falloir livrer et, et, et tout, tout, tout ce genre de choses. Donc là c'est vraiment de, de l'énergie positive, tout le monde rigole, est détendu. Juste se sentir bien en fait, se sentir bien, profiter. Et euh, il faut que ce soit des, des moments que, que l'on se rappelle. Et voilà, il ne faut, faut, faut pas le subir aujourd'hui, il faut, il, faut, il faut profiter de, de tout ça. Ah, ouais, on aime bien la mettre à chaque fois, on en rigole, c'est bien. Mais euh, ouais, tout le monde a essayé d'apprendre les paroles un peu et on, on le remixe à notre façon. C'est cool. C'est quoi votre façon ouais, on, essaie, on change un peu les, les noms des joueurs avec euh, ceux de notre équipe. Mais bon, on n'est on est pas encore au point. On verra, on verra après le match en espérant que tout se passe bien et on puisse bien la chanter. Okay, boys, uh, everybody got everything they need here. 
we all we all clear in, no one's clouded here with travel or family or whatever. All good? Yeah. All right. Switch on that. I love I love the relaxed attitude. I love how we've been. We're ready to play. You know, we're ready to play. There's no doubt about it. We're ready to play this game. But I want to tell you, all right, you have to take this opportunity. All right, in life, in sport, various different uh, ways, opportunities present themselves to you. This opportunity wasn't presented to you. You made this opportunity happen. You understand? You made it happen. And when those opportunities come around, you take them with both hands. And we get our chance today. And we won't regret me. I missed my opportunity. I missed it. And we spoke. Those who played at Huddersfield away, in that stadium where there was about fucking 15 people there watching in the quarterfinal of the Challenge Cup, and it was hard work. It was 2 0, I think, at half time, or 4 0 at half time. And we fought our way through that. And now we've got ourselves the opportunity to play this game and win this game. Okay? So we go out and we take it with both hands. That's all I'm asking you to do. And you will. You'll win this game. Really, really simple for me. Just want to play the video. It's three minutes long. It's our little journey here from, um, from where we started. York. Those who got the chance to play at York. All the way through to where we are now. When we finish, let's go. We got on that bus and we're going to fucking rip this stadium apart, okay? <clears throat> Non, Udo. Udo. Comment on dit Mais voilà, c'était la je joue en Udo. Ah, mais non, Ici, quand t'es dehors, on avait froid. C'est fini comment tu as Ouais, on avait froid dehors. Steve, 
Il m'avait dit, 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 Surrender calls on Hill as well, boys. of the game and discipline Leeds were their perfect opponents we are their worst fucking nightmare to play against with a ball this this game okay so we take that off the opposition get your discipline on get your discipline on the most physical team always gets on the side of the referee that's what happens if you're physically dominant in a game you get the play the ball penalties you understand that so we get our physical elements on, 
we get our discipline on and we get the basics right. I don't care what else we do, we've got some tips here, but we get those bits right. That's the foundation for our success. And we outwork the opposition. You outwork, you do not stop, you never stop moving in defence. You keep moving, you keep working, because we're going to fucking take time and space off this team. <coughs> Okay, and there might be some ricochets, and there might be some spin-offs, and there might be some loose balls, and we are on to everything there. So you keep moving. You keep moving all the time. We outwear the opposition. Okay, just remind you again, stay disciplined, stay control there. I want aggressive defence, but I want aggressive control defence. I don't want reckless, I don't want anything stupid, what gives them a reason to give a penalty. Aggressive control defence. Transform this team, what used to stop and give in to a team that never ever stops and never ever gives in, and it's a nightmare for the opposition to play. Go out there and be their worst fucking nightmare, okay? You've got it here. Boys, it's one thing, look around. Everyone get a look around. Fucking one thing, boys. Fucking believe this. This is our time, yeah. This is our time, no other time. This is our fucking time. Let's get them fucking told, man. Come on, fucking. I ain't got this I'll tell you. Fucking I'll tell stand you. Up, mate. Enjoy it, mate. Enjoy it. Yeah. Tommy, stand up, lads. Who's got to fucking stand up? Sammy. Okay. Sweet. Boys, let's go. Got it, Kenny. Non, on va essayer d'y aller tout seul avec David Mille, David Mille sur le côté avec Benjamin Benjamin peut-être qu'il va essayer 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 des dragons catalans Benjamin Julien Lewis Tierney Lewis Tierney Lewis Tierney he takes it safely 
And that will settle him just a little too, but look at that for the response from the Catalan defenders. This will be interesting now, the first set, let's see how the Dragons attack this defensively. You see the first five are very tight and quick. Good line speed. Charnley getting himself involved down the middle here. Well, there's certainly a wall of white, won't there? Benjamin Garcia, Benjamin Garcia qui veut essayer d'y aller tout ça Benjamin Garcia, que dit l'arbitre the, the ball is still in his hands, we've got no knock on. Not, it's on the boot there, it's on the boot there, it looks to be on the ground. We're just trying... Eight points up in this game is a perfect situation for us, but not to sit back now. Not to sit back and let the game come at us, to drive on with this game. Alright? Easy for us. We set up there, Birdie, Louis, and we've, tu we've toughed our way through a period there, and then came out the other side, kicked to a corner, forced an error, and Benny gets a try from Dummy Art. Fucking six points. But you've got to drive yourselves now. This is it. I think you said it before the game, this is our moment. This is our, this is it now. But I'm telling you what, they're sat in that dressing room makes like a whole lot of worse shit. And they're fucking eight points down. And there's an avalanche of fucking white shirts coming out and they can't stop it. You understand it? Alright, so don't feel they've got the ascendancy. We're on top, we've got, you've got your foot on top of these cunts' throats here. You just fucking squeeze it now, right down. Right down on top of them. And go after this second half. Regarde, il y a 40 minutes d'un truc de fou, d'accord On a fait des sacrifices pendant des années pour arriver là, d'accord On n'a jamais rien gagné, d'accord Donc on va, ne on va rien lâcher, d'accord On ne va rien lâcher, il faut pas... On, 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 on donne de tout, là, d'accord Il n'y a plus de tout, non, on regrette On est en force, 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 on y va, hein On donne tout, là 200%, là, il y a 40 minutes, 200%, On est prêt, on est De leur zone Rouge de leurs 40 mètres. Ils y sont pour l'instant dans leurs 40. Alors la 40-20, tentée par Tony G. Elle est trouvée Bien fait Bien de la part de Tony Gigo qui trouve une 40-20. Et du coup, il va y avoir une pénalité pour les Dragons Catalans à 20 mètres de la INDC. C'est maintenant. C'est maintenant pour les Dragons Catalans. Benjamin Garcia, Sami Soni Langui, Josh Rinkwater, le côté gauche avec Kenny Et c'est La gestion de Steve McNamara va être importantissime dans l'issue finale. Et il y a plus un à gauche. Il y a plus un, il va peut-être y aller. Hein. Tom Lainor, oh, c'est bien défendu. Oh là là, c'est très très bien défendu du côté des, des dragons catalans. Ça va, ça va mieux là maintenant. qui pousse et Warrington à gauche il y a peut-être un surnom sur le côté avec la énorme allez mon petit défends bien là dessus on est dessus allez bien récupéré Lewis Tierney le pied le pied de Kevin Brown est-ce que c'est récupéré par un dragon catalan oui c'est récupéré C'est celui-là, 
c'est celui-là le tenu le plus important, la récupération de balle la plus importante sur Tyrone Roberts, qui va peut-être taper, non, il préfère la jouer, s'il si la joue au pied. Allez, Folly Allez, Folly oui Folia qui récupère le ballon et qui ne se fait pas projeter dans son embut. Non, il est devant. Allez, une 13. Une 13, ils peuvent le faire maintenant. C'est énorme, énorme pour le sport français ce que sont en train de faire les dragons catalans en quelques secondes. L'arbitre va peut-être siffler la fin. Allez, c'est fini ou pas Non, c'est pas fini. C'est pas fini, c'est pas C'est les dragons catalans qui remportent la cape et qui se jettent là. de l'arme de joie, de l'arme exceptionnelle quand on voit surtout tous ces gens qui sont là, c'est ces milliers de gens qui se sont déplacés malgré les difficultés, malgré tout et de quelle façon ils ont soutenu l'équipe pendant 80 minutes. On a entendu Warrington qui était 10 fois plus que nous mais on, on nous a aussi bien autant entendu à l'eau. C'est extraordinaire le, 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 le support qu'ils nous ont apporté, le soutien qu'ils nous ont apporté, bien sûr autant pour les joueurs, bien sûr pour le coach mais aussi pour tous ces gens qui ont fait le déplacement aujourd'hui qui sont là. C'est un la vérité, la vérité, c'est merci. C'est un On a fait, je l'avais dit. On a eu chaud, mais on l'a fait. Un petit deux, je perds parce qu'on perd là, c'est le roi de jeu. Et voilà, c'est comme ça, on est content. Yes, papa
We said about defence. Mm -hmm. I just want to read it quickly on the game here. We said about defence, we started fucking brilliantly in that game. Like with the start to that game was outstanding. And the last 20 minutes we didn't quite deal with it the way we wanted to deal with it. But I'm telling you, that last 20 minutes was all about just staying in there, gritting your teeth, finding a way. And when you only win your first two out of your 11 games, and again I'll remind you, it's bullshit all this other stuff about teams and their spirit. You try sitting in our dressing room when we've only won two from 11. And then fight your way to Super League and then win that fucking special team there. Yes! That's the biggest achievement, honestly, that's the biggest, <laughs> achievement, <laughs> biggest achievement any team will do to lift that from where we've come from. Yes. So make the fucking most of it. Let's go with your shot. Yes! Bonsoir à tous, je suis le waiter ce soir, challenge cup winning waiter, how would that? Hey oh, and the boss is there so you're going to keep him happy, eh? Champagne! Come on, take it off me. I only, I only drink champagne now, Doc, for the next 10 years. <laughs> <laughs>